Once upon a time, there was an old man who cut bamboo to weave baskets. One day, he went into the bamboo forest as usual and came upon a stalk that was glowing with a mysterious light. Nestled inside it was a darling, tiny girl. The old man carried her home in his hands and he and his wife brought her up like their own daughter. In just three months, the girl grew into a beautiful young woman. Her beauty lit up every corner of the house, so the old couple named her Princess Kaguya, which means Shining Knight. Five noblemen heard of Princess Kaguya's beauty and came forward to ask for her hand in marriage. The old man asked her to choose one of them herself. She would rather have turned them all down, but in order to please her father, unwillingly, she said that she would marry whoever brought her what she asked of him. All of her requests were next to impossible. One of the suitors, a prince, she told to go to legendary Mount Horai and bring back a branch from a tree with a trunk of gold, branches of silver, and fruit of white jade. Instead, he had fine craftsmen prepare a fake. It was so well made that the princess was stunned. Just as she was thinking she might have to marry the prince after all, the head craftsman came along demanding to be paid, and the trickery was exposed. Another suitor was told to bring her a jewel from a dragon's neck and sent his men off in search of it. A year went by with no word from them, so he decided to set out on his own. His boat ran into a terrible storm and he was tossed to and fro in the waves, barely making it back alive. A different admirer was given the task of fetching a cowrie shell led by a swallow. While he was removing one from a swallow's nest in a pillar in the palace kitchen, he lost his footing and fell. In his hand, he held not the shell, but a piece of swallow poop. The remaining two suitors also failed. One was supposed to bring her a Buddha's begging bowl that glowed, but his bowl didn't glow at all. The other was supposed to bring her an unburnable bag, but his bag burnt to a crisp. Finally, the emperor himself heard about the princess and came calling. Struck by her beauty, he went up to her, but she melted away like a shadow. So even the emperor was forced to give up. Three years went by and Princess Kaguya took to gazing sadly at the moon. The old man asked her what was wrong. She said, I am from the moon. On the 15th of August, when they come for me, I will have to go back. This made the old man very sad, and he asked the emperor to protect her. Soon it was the 15th, the night of the full moon. 2,000 imperial soldiers stood guard around the house. All at once, the sky lit up. A band of people came riding down on clouds and lined up above the ground. The soldiers were overcome by a strange force and only looked on in a daze. Princess Kaguya was hiding in the storehouse, held tightly in the old woman's arms. But when the leader of the moon people demanded her return, the door mysteriously opened and she slipped out. The old couple collapsed in helpless tears. The princess left them her kimono as a memento, and in its place she was given a wrap worn by heavenly beings. The moment she put it on, all her sadness and concern for the people of Earth were gone. 
she was led into a flying chariot and banished into the heavens.